Yeah, here here is the difference between a 2018 and well, uh, my Polaris Ranger, the 2018. Um, they changed the drive shafts at in uh, 2017, 2016 used this type of drive shaft or uh, propeller shaft they call them. A, Pol a Polaris calls them propeller shafts anyway, but. This is the difference in them. This has got a CV joint type, and this is the U joint type. There's my helper right there. And, um, and uh, yeah, I was willing to help. And, and anyway, um, I think the inside of the shafts are the same size. But, um, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, they used the, the, the uh, CV joint from 2008. Yeah, 2017 up to 2023 or maybe 2024 too. I don't know, but um, there's people that'll say, "Oh, this is this is better," and people say that's better. But Polaris thought this would be better because it or, or, or thought this is better because uh, these uh, the uh, are the U joints to get full of dirt at, when you're out on the trail, and these here they had have the uh, covers on them because they're a CV joint type thing, and the and the dirt and crap doesn't isn't supposed to get in there. And this one here that would that would get full of dirt, and then then your U joints wear out. Um, here's another difference in in them too. We go down to this end. Uh, see there. Uh, this one's about half inch shorter than that one too. Um, I, I, uh, some people I looked at a couple of videos and they said, or, or a couple of forums, and they said that that um, uh, that these will work. They're just a little bit shorter. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, the first time I've changed, I've changed these, but uh, but yeah, see these have got a got a grease fitting in here too. And um, like I say, you, you can't grease these, but I don't know, I'm gonna find out. But um, yeah, they give you a, uh, they give you a little, well, that's all balls racing. I, I'm gonna explain to you too why I have two drive shafts here. Okay, now, <laughs> this, this gets a little involved, but but uh, what I did is I is these here <clears throat> cost two hundred fifty bucks, so I I called I I I found them on the on eBay, and I says I I I sent them a message and I says yeah well or, or I looked at their website and they these will fit two thousand seventeen and newer, well, so I thought, oh that's two hundred fifty for that one. And that one there is um, is is just short of four hundred bucks. So I thought, oh, two hundred fifty bucks. I'm gonna do that. Well, then I find out that uh, that that these are different. These are for the 2016 and older. So then I, I try to send them back. So I called up the lady, and and they said no returns. And I I called up called up the lady that. That, uh, that owned the store that these came from, and I says, "Hey, you know, you, you, uh, I, I thought I'd let you know and get that get that order canceled before you shipped it because I did some checking and found out that that these are, are your website isn't right. This this will only go up to 2016, and mine's a 2017. So, so the." Uh, so uh, uh, the lady did some checking, and and um, she was getting them from All Balls Racing, and um, and she did some checking, and she found out that uh, yeah yeah these here are are for the older model, not the newer model. So she says, oh well, I'm I'm going to refund your money and put it back on your cart. So so then yesterday I got this in the. Um, uh, there's another one of my helpers right there, but yesterday I, I got this in my um, uh, from Speedy Delivery, and I thought, oh cool, and I, I can I can rip into my into my side by side now and put this this shaft in because mine's really shot, and uh, and then and then I find <laughs> 15 minutes later FedEx shows up with this big package, 
And I'm like, what the heck? And uh, so I got this shaft too now. So I got two shafts. But uh, um, and then I thought, oh, I bet they didn't uh, take that off my uh, off my uh, Discover card bill. And I went over there and I looked and looked for my Discover card on the internet to see how, what my charges were. Nope. They, they went and took that 250 off, put it, credited it back to my credit card. So now I got, I got their shaft. I got, I got the 250 credited back to me, but the shaft showed up in the, on, on, on FedEx. So now I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to uh, figure out, I'll have to call them on Monday. Today's Saturday. I'll call them on Monday and say, hey, you know, what do you want me to do with this? I, I don't really want to pay shipping to send it back, but I'll send it back because it's not mine. You know, you gave me the money back for it. So, so anyway, that's what's going on. But <laughs> no, if, I, if I had a lot of money, I'd, I might even try to put this shaft in mine. But like I say, it's half an inch shorter. And I, I don't, I don't know if the inside of these shafts are the same size or not. I, I don't, I don't know if that, if they change the shaft size in 2000, 2017 or not. But they, uh, I think they look to be the same. But I could get my caliper out and find out pretty quick though. But, but anyway, that that uh, if, if someone tells you they're all the same, baloney. That that um, these are the same up to two. Up to two, up to 2017 and 2017, they changed over to that. So I'll, I'll show you what's going on with my Polaris and you'll see why I'm trying to change it. And uh, I'm hoping it's not that. I, I hope it's not my spline where, where the spline comes out of the, out of the transmission here. Or, 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 I mean, out of the differential here, but, but I'll reach in your, look how loose that is. And, and I, uh, every time I put that in gear, they, uh, that thing will crack and bang and all kinds of stuff. And I, I'm really hoping that, that my spline shaft coming out of the, out of, out of the gearbox isn't shot too, or yeah, wore out. Cause I can tell, I can tell that's never been changed because when people change them, what they have to do is you have to, cut part of that out because that shaft won't come out um, it, it's I, I'm, I'm looking at it more and more and I think this is going to be a big job because you got to take you got to take your break break uh, break out yeah yeah your brake caliper out then you gotta you gotta take take this nut off of here and then and then this comes off and then you can get your shaft out and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of a major job, and uh, you gotta take all this stuff off to get the. It's a big job, and um, I think you can leave your your A arms in, but, but like I say, the shaft has to come out, and then and then that and then there's a there's a pin that goes in. I'll have to turn it. I don't know if my if my camera can pick it up where it's so dark here, but there's a pin that goes in there, and and that's a People say that's terrible. Get out, and um, but I got an air chisel, and people say it comes right out with an air chisel. So, but uh, but yeah, the, the shaft here. So you can see it's uh, I could say I don't know if my camera will pick it up or not because it's kind of dark in here. But but you uh, yeah, you can see it's even loose here. That, that that's never been changed though, and I hope I hope these shaft the. Hope the shafts coming out of the transmission or, or differential or whatever. I, I hope those aren't shot too, because it's been flopping around loose like that for a long time and never been changed. And this thing's got like like thirteen thousand miles on it, so it, and that's the way it looks like it's mostly road miles. Because look, look how how wore down these tires are. They've been they've been running the living crap out of these tires and get you an idea of what I'm talking about. Look at that. Front tires are just shot on this thing. And I've only owned it for a few weeks, but anyway, I'm gonna shut this video off because they. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a video on how to how to how to get that shaft out, and we'll see how things go with that. So there you go.